Hey everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat. And A Plus Gamer, guarding the Maple Syrup. And we're back for more. Let's play Metroid Other M on RezoWalkthroughs.com. Also known as Metroid Other M, I enjoy pain. And Metroid Sense. Other M. Go through the hatch on your right and head towards Sector yes. 1. Lyle went ahead to secure a route to a facility of interest. I'll leave you to survey Sector 1. No, you won't. You just send him ahead. She's not surveying it. He was already. He already went ahead of you. Yeah, but she's going to secure it. What's wrong? Head to sector I one. I am going to sector one. Screw off. Impatient, are we? Oh, hello. That reminds me of Metroid Fusion. Yeah. But then again, it's not like the body, the bottle ship, and the BSL labs were built almost identical. Moving right along. <laughs> well, then again, BSL labs did have way more in the way of elevator space than this place does. Yeah. On the other hand, this place makes it much more obvious that you're going to have to go back up here without the elevator at some point. Yeah. Probably when we have space jump. Gas bomb thing. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, kid. We were, we were, we were just given last episode. Uh, thanks for coming back. In case our short attention spans couldn't remember the overblast. Well, to be fair, I mean, the audience hasn't seen this in a couple of days, so maybe they could remember. Ow. You know that part of things when Adam said that you could play on YouTube? Yeah. I'm allowed to move you now. Well, I have been shooting things. Ow. You just haven't been dodging the jury, Well, he never told me to dodge. Yes. Oh, that's going to be a running gag. Oh, yes it is. Elevator 1, 2, and 3. Gee, I wonder what each one could be. It's not like the green one's jungle, the red one's fire, and the blue one's ice. No, they couldn't be going through that again. Then again, it's not like I'm playing this a game which every world, four, every sector, part of the world one. is separated by elements either. Three. The is now in yeah. effect in sector one. Please avoid traveling alone and remain Please armed. Please avoid traveling alone and remain armed. Stay alert to your surroundings, at, alert at, all your surroundings at all times. Well, that what a pleasant is a elevator. I know. What a pleasant elevator, though. I mean... Well, it's not so how kind of yourself. Well, in Samus's case, I'd be like telling her to take off her left arm, but ignoring it's that, to take off her left arm. What a pleasant thing to come down to! Like there was no blinking alarm light on, on the elevator shaft itself. Just as I said, you get in, and then after you've gotten in and started going down, hmm, this area may be dangerous. Have you written a will? <laughs> if not. The back of this elevator is equipped with a flat surface, should you want to record one in your own blood. Yeah, this is I... a recorded message. Well, well, no, this is the Metroid universe where humanity joined galactic civilization in 1997. Um... Yeah... That's... Did you not? Uh, I hate these bugs. I mean, granted they're annoying in the 2D versions of the game, but in this, they're not like yeah, they're, they're real. really out there in this version of the game. Uh, not only do they home in on you, they try and hump your face. Not that I can blame them. True that. Although, one of the points of the original Metroid game was you did not know Samus was a woman until the very end of the game, and only then if you'd beaten the game under a certain time. Three hours of people. I think so. Back then, completion didn't matter near as much. Well, yeah, because you couldn't complete it. All the power-ups could be gotten over and over. You could only have one beat at a time. 
here. For what it's worth, I'm actually a fairly large Metroid nerd. Uh, I've played through and beaten all the games. Super Metroid, I, I, I have gotten all the, uh, all the speedrun endings. I've never really cared about speed all crap. Oh, I remember this boss. Hi! Click! trouble with the controls, I couldn't get the lock on to work. Well, to be fair, the very first time I ever fought those, I died twice. I didn't die, but because I couldn't quite get my remote game at the screen, uh, I kept running around shooting randomly, hoping, it, hoping that I could keep dodging the attack. Ah. I blow up the hive, you know. I did blow up the hive. You did? Yeah, that's why I got swarmed. Oh. Why did I miss... No, I think I missed it. Um, strange. Okay, anyways. Moving on. And it's a jungle area. What do you know? Just Can like say the first star? area that you need to get into in Super Metroid. Hello, good die. I believe I'm making a horrific mistake here. Yeah. Oh well. Die, die, die. Please die. Thank you. What the? Oh, hi. Ow. Jerk. Well done. Hey, no dirt claps. Oh, there will be dirt claps. Okay, oh, hi, obvious trap. Yep. It's not like we didn't see it coming a mile away. Uh, pause, I've got a phone call. Okay, now that that interruption is over with. Sorry about that. Okay. It happens. Boom. Boom. And oh, that crap the great thing about this game, I think, is that you can refill your rockets simply by concentrating for a little bit. Hello? Oh. Goodbye. Grapple beam. Yep. Son of a bitch. Adam, we need a grapple beam. But he hasn't authorized it. Damn it. We need it. Ow. Jerk. Oh, it gets better later on. Um... Ow! But yeah, no, actually, if you look on that in a different light, um... It's kind of funny to think about Samus just calling them out of her ass, pretty much. Well... She has, she has to concentrate for a minute, and you aim the Wiimote straight up, and it's kind of funny. Okay, little obvious trap. Which oh, I can't turn you. Well, I'm... Ah! So you just walk into it and let it... Oh, well done. Well done. That's a little obvious trap. Hmm. Game I can't over start game, one. so I'm just going to walk over you. This side. 
Well, at least it puts us past the Inviso assholes. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's a safe point too. At least now this time we don't have to wait too much to get it past. Yeah. We're just gonna run right past it. But according to what I've been able to gather, Samus's power suit basically builds each rocket at me. Yeah, uh, well, a bit more than that. Um, the power suit is generated by focus. If she loses concentration, she actually loses the power suit. Yeah. Which is why it goes away when she gets knocked unconscious. Yes. Even though it didn't there. Oh, you mean in the game over screen? Yeah, it did. It did? Yeah. Oh, I'm just not paying attention tonight. Attention? What's that? Moving on. Die, all of you die. I find it kind of difficult to believe, though, that these obviously loosely amalgamated organic surfaces are resistant to plasma fire. It's fate to deal with it. Fade point! Yay, recharge point. Okay. Now we must go that way. Now, at some point up ahead, I'm pretty sure that there's a washroom and there's a power up in one of the washrooms up ahead. Oh crap! Hello! Ow! Thanks. At least these things are easier to air juggle than they used to be. Yeah, that's true. Now, Adam did say that he didn't want you to fire without being told, so can you imagine what, the, what that would have been like if they actually made that a design feature? Um, uh, it would have been like that NES accessory where you couldn't fire without saying the word fire. <laughs> every, for, basically, for every time you fire the gun, it just plays the sound effect of uh, Adam on your comms. Fire! 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 <laughs> that would have been hilarious. It would have the first five minutes, and then you would have pulled your ears off. Oh crap! Ooh, nice dodge. Not oh yeah. Three dodges and die. Die. Please die. Ah. Oh nope. Die. And dead. No lethal strike. I don't think there's any more of those in the room or anything like that. Yeah. Oh. oh! Get on his back. Get him in the, him in the armadillo plates. And... Lethal strike! It's funny yeah, how no. he stop being damage sponges and become ridiculously easy once you figure out the proper method of destroying them. Pretty much. Samus has beaten Armored Armadillo. Weapon get? No kill. <laughs> I'm surprised that they have two things right off the bat that you normally don't get in a Metroid game right off the bat. Which one? You have the Morph Ball, and you have Morph Ball Jump. Uh, Morph Ball Jump comes with the Morph, ba morph Ball in a lot of the modern games. Even in uh, Zero Mission, you had to get uh, Morph Ball Jump to use the Morph Ball yeah. Jump. But in the Metroid... And one or two of the Metroid Prime you did. Yeah, and in Fusion you did. In Fusion you did. Which um, I can understand that one since all of Samus's abilities had been basically taken from her by yeah. chopping the suit to bits. 
I can understand that one too. Um, as for the Morph Ball, I want you to name one Metroid game in which that is not the first power up that you get. Um, this one, because you don't even need the power up? You have it automatically? Uh, no, you didn't. If you did, you, would, you wouldn't have, have been able to. You, you would have. You wouldn't have needed it to get back and go back and get in that system in the room. Uh. You got the morph ball and the bombs at the same time, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Oh. Hello, Miss Tank. Although I am very disappointed that the missile tanks only give you one in this. I just got pooped out of the ceiling. What the hell? Yeah, um, the Federation cut back on their hero handler, uh, heroin budget. Okay. They can only afford. The, the, I mean, the Federation's not made of uh, of missile upgrades. One missile upgrade per pack, please. But I mean, it cost money to hide. It was three and five per pack. But, I mean, it costs money to hide these missile packs out-of-the-way places that only somebody who is scavenging through the area could find. In Chozo armor. Yeah. I mean, don't you hide your ballistic weapons inside an air vent? No. How about in a armored plate that's only accessible by bombing it? Why would I do that? Missiles are for using. The large cage-like booth and looked like something had been American. raised in it. And in one corner was the miserable form of a researcher's corpse. The this victim, victim hadn't, hadn't sustained, sustained the same, same injuries. injuries. The dead I'd seen the before dead I'd had, seen been, had torn been torn apart by something large. large. I'm sad. This one had been attacked by a different type of this creature. Actually, she did show a bit of emotion and as I studied the violence this creature had wrought, okay. I felt something in the air. Fair enough. The presence of uh, a dark intelligence. I am intelligence. sometimes a little bit overcritical. It would also help if I could hear the voice acting. What the... I can target him. Can I shoot him? Please Let's... don't desecrate the corpse. Let's find out. I wonder how many people tried to desecrate the corpse when they first played the game. Hey, I'm just trying to be efficient and burn the corpse. Fourth state matter is great for that stuff. Oh, oh wait, this is it for you. Thank you for working at the bottle ship. Your services are no longer required. We don't need we we don't have the money to pay your retirement fee. Therefore, please accept this cake. Deploying cake in three, two, one. Cake deployed. Yeah. Deploying cake proof shielding. And I am so derpy at this point. Yep. Because I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. And power bomb. Oh, no, it's super missile. For some reason, I think it's supposed to be a back down the corridor. Yeah. Recharge missiles, because why not? Yeah. And... Oh, Already you still hear him screaming. You can, well, you still hear him screaming. It's kind of like an Austin Powers. I'm still alive down here. It just hurts really, really, really badly. <laughs> I think that's okay if you just open the door. Help me. Yeah. And I think at this point, yeah, nothing, 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 nothing. Although it's kind of suspicious on its watching areas that Samus has recently been to. That's what security cameras do. <sighs> oh, I can't blow that up. Darn it. And boop. No, 
it was a super missile door on one side, it's only reasonable to assume that it's made of the same material on the other side. Oh, but it's got different lights! No, it doesn't. Red light on both sides. Nah. And the camera pans back. But I don't see this because I'm being dirty. So it's different to go back up here and try and wait more ammunition on the super missile door. Of course. When the camera pans back, that means you should look. Uh, but part of Metroid is exploring. And not being able to reach simple doors. <laughs> this is Metroid Other M. Ah, uh, yes, exploring is not quite as important. Yeah, if the solution's not handed to you in five minutes, you're And here I go with being unable to see the green on green moving stuff. Yeah. It's a point and click adventure, only the only puzzle is use plasma beam on whatever moves. <sighs> if only that worked for all point and click adventures. Yes, Shadow Game. Where's that key? I don't need it. Use plasma cannon on door. <laughs> the troll. Uh, do I have to hand you the gold pieces? No, use plasma cannon on troll. What's that? Uh, one right? thing... I've got to wield the staff and the sword. Um, oh, hello. Use plasma cannon on Brian. What? Oh, how the cute. heck is that thing? In no way will that be important later on in the game. It has no arms. It has a rape face. Yes, it does. Samus, proceed through the hatch I just unlocked. Your next destination is a little further ahead. Okay. Hello, great face. Uh, go through the door now, please. And lock it behind us. Yeah. We're just gonna lock that door behind ourselves now and never sleep again, because it will eat you. Samus is now going to be sleeping in her armor. Forever. She probably already does. Um, what I understand, no, she doesn't. We know that, um... Fan fiction doesn't count. Uh, no, I'm talking about the comic itself. I know, I, actually, in, in your first episode, you can see that Samus is waking up because she wasn't concentrating, she didn't she was in the zero ah. But, um, yeah, fan fiction does not count for anyone who's not sleeping in the box. No. She actually sleeps in shorts and a tank top. Oh, yeah! According to the comic, that shorts and tank top you always see her in at the end of the more modern games, that's her sleepwear. Nice. Must be a way I can get up there. Go away! Why? You know you have to melee the thing. Just blast it with your missile. That would be fun if you could melee stuff in Metroid. What if you want to up. melee it with? What is Emma's capable of punching kick thing? And it humps her face. Admit it, you would too. Moving on. See, Samus is smart. Unlike most sci-fi women who wear just underwear, like Ripley, she wears a full rape-proof power suit. Clearly, you have not watched enough Japanese anime. There is no such thing. Only in Japan. And where was this game made? Good point. Actually, I believe that was your point from the last episode. Or was it earlier in this episode? I don't remember. Still a good point. Stand near a terminal to interact with it. Thank you, game. Was 
was that hologram really necessary? Yes. That's a load-bearing hologram. It's not there the entire space station will immediately self destruct But it's not there now. Exactly. Ah, oh, crap. Dragons have doomed the space station. Well, it's not like Samus leaves any space station behind anyways. Hey, hey. Series station is really not her. And when was the last time Samus entered a space station that didn't explode? Um... Can we count the GFS Olympus? Hmm... But is that a space station or a starship? I call it a space station because it supports my point. <laughs> okay. Oh look, it's our goal for the area. I don't know if I can remember how to get there. Here's oh, right, so here. Waterfall, you always go through it. Always. Well, that's not entirely true in the Metroid series, because there's very few waterfalls. But the ones that are there, you go through. True. I'm just trying to remember the last time I saw a waterfall in one of the non-3D Metroids. Um... Some in the foreground in Brinstar and Meridia. Okay. Meridia, yeah. And, oh, Hello. Don't kick that off. Because you're squishy and tastes good with ketchup. This is Samus's power suit we're talking about. It's squishy and tastes good with motor oil. Okay, maybe that's some kind of American cuisine thing. Uh, we prefer maple syrup. Motor oil, the, motor, motor oil is not a condiment. Oh, hi, guys. Right, because we completely need to use three when the giant monster is rampaging the horse. Well, it's kind of a kind of taking in an ambling fashion towards nothing. Yeah, but I think it's drunk or just waking up or something. Well, it's not going to be waking up for much longer. Yeah, you had a much easier time with that than I did. Of course, when I first played this game, my Wii kept overheating, and basically the fan is shorted out, and I had to make some restart the game, restart from the last save every ten minutes or so. Ow. It was worse than the rear most blur, blur and most blur, blur in this game. What the heck? It's the Benny Hill Zoomers! Huh, oh well. I tried. You know there was a missile upgrade back there, right? Oh, that's that they were Benny Hilling around. Well, I go get that. It's all the more Drop. appropriate that in this game, the middle upgrade looks like bug zappers. And yet, the zoomers aren't dead. Except by my hands. Well, they are kind of larger than the bug zappers. But they're bugs. Yes, but that's kind of like saying you're going to turn on your bug zapper and kill Mothra. What, you're saying that wouldn't work? No. You obviously have not seen American Bug Zappers. You obviously have not seen the Godzilla movie. Well, yes I have, but... Mothra! Please, um, please tell me it was not one... It was, it was not the 1998 one. No, I've seen actual Godzilla movies. That's okay. for later, since we're out of here on this one. See ya. See ya.